Welcome back to the Possibility Store. I'm your host, Lane, and this week we have a special pod filled with some of my patrons. I'm joined by Morton, Snack, and my newest patron, Evan. I asked the guys to bring some of their favorite CEDH lists to the table, and they did not disappoint. I hope you enjoy the show. Possibility Storm is brought to you by the following sponsors. Ordering any of the cards you see in this video by using our TCG Player affiliate link provides support for the channel. You'll get their fantastic prices and help us out at the same time. Alternatively, if you're looking for sweet new artwork for your favorite cards, using our Ultra Sleeves affiliate link will get you 5% off of your order along with earning a commission for the channel. Play mats are now available through our partnership with Inch Gaming. You can grab your own The Possibility Storm or do you pay the one logo play mats via our store page. Play in style on all of your streams. If you'd like to support more directly, you can head over to our Patreon to pledge. We have a variety of tiers and benefits, and your dollars go directly into the show to help improve. You can also join us for, hopefully, monthly patron-only pods. Want to see us play live? We stream over on Twitch every Saturday at 1pm Pacific Time. We typically play 3-5 to five games during a stream block, but usually only one of those games make it to the channel, so come hang out and chat with us while we swing some cardboard. Links to all of the above will be in the description below. With that said, let's check out our lists. First up is new- newcomer Evan, bringing his Timna, Rebecca, Orza stacks list to the battle. This deck aims to deploy popular stacks pieces that interact with a variety of common game plans, and then create a board state that spells doom for opponents, be it by creating a lock with cards like Uba Mask and Dranith Magistrate, or dropping in an Elish Lord to clear the way for creatures to stop the table. I'm coming second and deb- debuting one of my latest creations, Giada Rule of Angels. This is a mono-white rule of Lost Stacks deck that aims to slow down the table in order to deploy a number of angels onto the battlefield until we've hit critical mass and can kill our opponents. If we draw well or get the right tutors, we can also run out Heliod and Ballista to win. Next up is Morton, piloting the CEDH database version of Najila, Warrior Queen. This deck does as expected, trying to run out Najila to Revy and enough mana to activate Najila's ability to gain infinite combats to kill the table. Otherwise it can fall back on consultation or breach lines and really has that inevitability in the command zone. Last but not least is Snack, bringing his favorite Gitrog deck to the table. This is a convoluted combo deck, but the main pieces needed are the land Dakmar Salvage, a discard outlet, and Gitrog itself. From there you can loop your deck by dredging and drawing cards, eventually putting a Titan Shuffler into the bin, and being able to continue the loop. There are a number of different ways you can assemble a win con from here. So there you have it, let's see who gets the victory this time. Good to go? Yeah. Alright. Scrubland, pass. Draw. Um, okay, never punished. Jeweled Lotus. <laughs> Mox Amber. Wait. Lotus Petal. Holy. <laughs> Planes. Alright. Crack Lotus. Oh, okay. Kiata. We'll pass there. Okay. Roll for turn. We lose a Delta. Or with like a Crack it. Can I go search? Uh, I would. I have a response. Okay. I would like to flash in this Archivist, Archivist of Ah. Uh, yes. Yes. I'll drop so you... her. And get okay. her. I'll respond oh, no. to the Archivist. Okay. Uh, I'll only I'll only tutor. Oh, okay. So I, I mean I'm definitely getting a mana crypt right now. So. <laughs> right. So yeah, then I will draw a card and gain a life. And then you may go get your. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah, I got a jewel. Uh, a jewel lotus was uh, the top deck I had before, so that's why I said it was pretty good. Uh, crack it. Cast my commander. Yep. Couldn't get out yeah. there any fast enough. Cast mana crypt. Tab it for soul ring, and then uh, pass the turn. Man tower. Oh, wait. You play the throw mock exiling cover flowers. A two, this being a black for a dark confidant, will hey. pass my turn. Sweet. Draw. Play the mana crypt I drew. Nice. Play an Urborg. Hey. Yeah. Um, play an Arcane Signet. Well, I'll play an Orzov Signet. And I'll tap the Scrubland, tap the Signet, and I'll play a Blind Obedience. And then pass. Uh, play a reach. Tap for two. For Luminar Concentrion. Ooh. Ooh. Com- see. Combat. Yeah. Uh, two in the air at Morton. Yes. I take two. And it's commander damage. Let's just note it to make sure. Probably won't be relevant, but we never know. We never know, right? <laughs> uh, that will be all. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, untap. Roll for crypt. Evens, I'm safe. 
Is that fine? Thanks. Yes, you guys can see it. Drove uh, Tundra. Yes, uh, it will come at you, full metal, because uh, the other ones can kill my Najila. <laughs> it's very simple. <laughs> I got you. Tap this volcanic for black and cast an Impale Seal. Yep. Sure. You get a draw, Islan. This one is the one I choose, so I'm just gonna shuffle. And then uh, I can't draw it, so no matter what, it, I'm gonna pass the turn after that. Fine Horn Elves off, the I'm losing one. I need an Ancient Tomb. Play a tapped Fine Horn Elves. Easy. And I'll pass. My turn, alright. Uh, odds I take damage. Five, two, three. Draw for turn. Four. I'm gonna play Rebecca. So uh, I'm gonna cast Pitting Needle again. <laughs> I wonder what his name is. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. <laughs> Rhymes with Mishmila. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, wow. first card again. I think I just pass here then. Okay. Get another counter. What do I check? Play a Planes. Shocker. Four. Uh, three of which is white. For an Archangel of Tithes. Uh, this is basically ghostly prison, but oh sweet, goes both ways. If it's untapped, you guys have to pay one for each attacking creature that attacks me. If it's attacking, you have to pay one to block for each creature. Oh lord! Um, if that's good, and ETBs, it'll trigger Giada and it'll get a counter. So it's a good. four six flyer. I will well, then move to combat. And uh, continue to mark Morton for two in the air. Yes. And I okay. shall pass the turn. Uh, tap. Roll for crit. It's not safe. Five. I take damage. Oh yeah, the, uh, the archangel's tapped as a blind obedience. Command out. Combat. I will just send one warrior at you. Snack. Uh, it's also oh, both are going you. Sorry, both are oh, going you. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, because everyone else is gonna kill it. <laughs> yeah, fair. Pass the turn. Um, at your step, I'm gonna cast a summoner's pact, tutor an oof to my hand. Yes. Assuming that there were no responses to the tutor, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna draw off archivist. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Off agents to my tutor. No, um, I don't nope. have anything for it. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. My off agent. Untap. I will not lose the game. I'll resolve this trigger first, but that's actually I'll tap better. Tap like that. Losing two off the ancient tomb. Then I have a dark confidant trigger. It's an Uamog! That sucked. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna play a Gaia's Cradle. Pull three and use two of that for a collector's. I will pass. Uh, I really can't let you have the oof, man. <laughs> Unfortunately. I mean, upkeep, uh, roll for crypts. Uh, five, take three. Yeah, I'm gonna cast portable hole. Target the oof. Then I'm going to cast a grim hireling. Yeah, Mort Morton, I'm doing great. Right, you throw it back. I take it. Take it. Um, I get two treasures. Yeah, I think I think I just say screw it and just cast him. Now. Um, yeah, I'll just cast him now, and then I'll end my turn. No good. End my turn. Let's go to combat. Uh, yeah, I mean I've already marked you. I might as well, Morton. Two more for my commander. I'm just gonna pass there. So I will just untap. Roll for crypt. Uh, one, I take damage. One, two, three. Draw for turn. Drop land. Oh, really? But he's short of color. He's short one. Uh, 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 oh no, he has a command tower. Never mind. Uh, he's not short of color. Shit, this uh, might be game if nobody has interaction. You, you all have buggers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess they're saved by virtue of buggers. <laughs> yeah, we still gotta do something, right? Um, yeah. Does it resolve? Yeah, yeah I have no response. I uh, okay, I would like to 
tap uh, the the oh, yeah, Dere agent. Derevi is comes in tapped also, by the way. But, but oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's no problem. No problem. Uh, I like yeah, to tap yeah. the opposition agent. You're tapping the opposition agent. Yes. With the ZTP, yeah. I uh, will go at you, snack first. I'm gonna say if anybody has a response before combat is the best way, but I pass priority on that. But the uh, table has. It. There's nothing I can do to stop this, unfortunately. Yeah. Then. Well, I hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's say if not, we're we're dead. That's over. It's Orm's chant. Like I put it in here because no, it's a yeah. silence. But okay. if you play the kicker, can creatures can attack. I was gonna say either way, he could just do it after your first attack, and then you would get some tokens, but you couldn't attack anymore, right? That uh, is true. Yeah, yes. I guess I could do that after yes, you would have untapped like, either, either, way, either way, you wouldn't. You wouldn't win. You wouldn't be able to win, I suppose. So, I mean, if you want to go ahead and say that you declared first attack, that's fine, and then I'll just yeah. after you've activated, I'll do this. Yeah, so like you, you had declared that. attacks. So let's go back yeah. to that instead. We went back too far. You had already declared attacks. You were sending four at snack, right? Yeah. 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 So I'm I will, them, yeah. uh, and then you were going to. Uh, we'll, we'll pretend this isn't here, but I've already paid yeah. for it, and we're going to do yeah. that. Yeah, in but... response to the untap, basically. Right. Yeah, I will do the like that. Yeah. Sure. And then I'll do this, and then it still works. But then that's fair. Okay. I apologize. I so how many token? How many tokens do I end up having then when it ends up? Okay. What you have right there? Yeah, because okay. you won't but, be able but to I, attack again. But I, but I get life though for that taunt tap though. I get the life yeah. with Najila. Yeah. That. You do get so the I get more life. So I get four life, right? We agree on that. Okay, and now you're technically silenced as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I pass. It's an Urchin Feet land. <laughs> oh no. To cast a Gitrog monster. Prismatic Fist, that second land for turn. Oh, and... this is gonna love. Gonna uh, crack it. I'll draw. So he's gonna draw first. Yeah. Draw. Also, not what I needed. And I'll get a buy. I'm sorry, that's stretching, but you might not get a. Alright, I mean, this is like a, a weird yeah, CDH okay. pod that only has like two decks that are really proven and then two experimental decks and Archivist has drawn me what like four cards it's such a good card I it's can't see where anybody's saying this is bad I paid two mana such a good turns card. ago and I've drawn a bunch of cards like this the fetches oh. alone is like uh, I, I've also put it Rafine like it's such a good card yeah I, I don't see where anybody thinks that it's negative uh, outside of in a five color deck is that it by the way yeah he does yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, sorry, I, I, I didn't AFK for like a second anyway, I missed that. Um, it's cool. I was just in the dead space. Uh, Morton, I'm cool. swinging at you. I'm swinging at you with a 3 4. I can't remember. Does it have minutes or anything? Okay. No, you can just block with one if you want. Okay, I'm blocking with one. Play break climb pathway, and I can't do anything else, so I'll pass. Uh, on your end step, I would like to activate Luminarch Ascension. Amazing. Adding sense to do an that. angel token that comes in tapped, but I will immediately untap. Hmm. Go to my turn. Play Nykthos. It's a 6-6, six, six, right? Uh, it is a 6-6, six, six, yes. Thank you. So Nykthos would get me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ooh. Nykthos is pretty good right now. Uh, Yeah, let's tap two into Nykthos and make six white. Um, I'll float... We'll just add a counter here. Floating a white. I'll use five for Lyra Dawnbringer. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> we. Uh, if that resolves, I'll Enter. get... It'll enter tap, but it's going to come in as yeah. an 8, eight, eight. And yeah. all my angels get plus one, plus one. A lifelink. And the lifelink. Remove the counter... And we'll crack a Lotus Petal for a white. Four total for a Mangara. Let's get some that more card sense. draw. Why not? Potentially. Uh, combat. Yeah, see, I, it's not enough to kill Morton anyway, so we might still be fucked. You know, I'm just going to send eight in the air at him. Eight. Hey. Yeah. Two of which is Commander, obviously. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two, Commander. I will pass the turn. We probably can stop him because I have a vamp tutor in hand, and sacrifice can 
get a card out of my deck to stop him, probably. It only goes to the top. Oh no, it goes to exile. All we have to do is pop Derevi. Yeah, so we can do that. I mean, it sucks for me, but <laughs> I, I mean, I, I couldn't do anything less turn because not patient anyway, so yeah, I can vamp tutor and then we can uh, figure something out, I guess. But I cannot win right now, and Ishlain is gonna beat the living crap out of you guys. I don't see I, lo how you I love the faith you have in me. No, look at it. <laughs> so you, you can't win. Right now. I, I, like I don't know if I can win, like, but I, I cannot kill Islay and I cannot win like that because you look at that. Well, he's gonna have a hard have... time swinging into me, but then also yeah. uh, he has to pay for every attacking creature. So yeah. he can literally, even if he could go infinite, he could kill both of you and then not like kill me because he'd have to pay. Well, don't the don't the warriors come in tapped and attacking anyway? So yes. he doesn't have to pay for him, <laughs> right? So, um. But each time he goes to a new combat step, he's attacking with new ones, and he's also having to. So he's having to pay with those. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, there's right. going to be attacks to where he would have to have an exorbitant amount of mana. He would have to go infinite yes, yeah. basically to be able to pay to be able to attack me. Yep. So oh, full mana. So. What he's saying is you should definitely vamp tier to get the swords of five shares because me and you are dead. <laughs> I mean, getting rid of yeah. Derevi is smart for everybody's sake, but. I think we die if, if I don't do that. Yeah, you told I, me I agree. We're, we're very yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna vamp tutor and I'll, I'll extort uh, it. So you guys all lose one, I gain three. I'll also draw uh, and gain one back. But I lose two. So yeah. vamp well, tutor. Net you even, just want. I mean, I could I could show you my whole deck, but you just want the swords. Yeah, I want the swords. Yeah, and then before we go to his turn, I'm definitely <sighs> plow sharing the Derevi. Yeah, okay. I think you're just giving Islaine the game, but fine. Yeah. I can go to my turn now. Roof for Crypt. Two. I don't take damage. Clear land the turn. Pass. Let's see how much this hurts. So I reveal Priest of Titania losing two. Draw. And I'm gonna. I would like to tap this and silence you. In your upkeep. I don't want you to win. So I would like to silence you. Yeah. Yeah. By my second line for turn. That's draw. Chrome box. So I'm gonna Chrome box and extort it. Uh, you guys all lose one. When I gain three. Uh, so I just have, have a useless Chrome box, but whatever. Yeah, I'm in. Pass. Can't do anything. Move to my turn. Play this Urza Saga. That's land for turn. Two into Nykthos for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. One, two, three, four, five. Going to four. Cast Archangel of Thune. Uh, Trigger. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. One, good. two, three, four counters. Jeez. So it's a seven, eight. Uh, has lifelink. Whenever I gain life, put a one, one counter on each creature I control. Everything I have has oh. lifelink, so that's a lot of fucking counters. Yeah, I have to full swing at either Morton or Snack to kill. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, so it's eight and seven is fifteen plus three from Giada is eighteen. So that should just kill Morton, and then I'm gonna swing the angel, uh, the five in the air at Snack. That's five in the air. Yeah. Oof. Um, I will I will pass turn to you and let's see what happens. End step, I'm gonna lose two more life to the yeah. tutor I drew. I have to tutor for removal, I think. I think that's the only recourse I have going for me at this point, is I have to tutor for removal because I can't win at this point. Unless if I get it. also gonna be really bad for Islan if you do that. My problem is my only board wipe is um Toxic Deluge, so that's not happening. I would have gained uh, You get life. Yeah. Yeah, you get a ton of life here. Eight, uh, what was it? 18 plus 5? And then your Archangel triggers. Right, so uh, it, it triggers 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So all of my angels will get plus 4, plus 4. This yeah. feels bad. Finish my saying, next turn, if you don't board wipe, I will kill all of you. <laughs> so I'm at 76. Go to my turn, I will be losing two off the Dark Confidant for this Assassin's Trophy. 
Yeah. Oh, sorry. Get Trog Trigger, attack a forest. Drop her turn. I am glad I took the Assassin's Trophy. I would have died. Um, and I drop her turn. Well, those are useless. <laughs> um, all right. Damn, I don't even have lands. Of I guess I just accept my fate is all I can do at this point and do jack shit. All right. I pass turn. Let's go Winds of Abandon. It has to be exactly <laughs> Winds of Abandon on top. Like, I will get is. enough planes for all of these. Just so you know, I'm running like 16 base 16. Yeah, okay, well, I got Sanctum Prelate, so that does nothing pretty much. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is lethal, for sure. I mean, yeah, I can't say Snack, you can let me swing at you, but you're at like oh, four life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I think you got it, Isley. Um, even if you played anything that was going to stop me, I have a march in hand, so I can probably remove it. Four angels. I'm yeah. pretty sure we're just dead. I have to just pass there. I, I can't do anything, so we just die. I yeah. mean, I'm done. I just play a planes here. and swing a bunch of angels yeah. to kill you all. Well, that was quite the game. Between the sax pieces and some bits of interaction, Morton was able to be stopped on the fearsome Najila list. It appears Snack might be in position to get a combo thereafter, but then just didn't well, draw well enough throughout the game, unfortunately. This meant I was able to clean up the table with angel beats. Good games to everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The channel is finally nearing the 900 sub mark, so we just need a few more to get this thing monetized. A special shout out to all of my patrons as well. Thank you for your ongoing support. Thanks to these patrons in particular for joining me in this game. I'm going to try and get pu public patron pods going at least once a month, so if you want to join in, hit up my Patreon link for details. And don't forget to join the public Discord. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.